2017. I'm sitting here with Ketel, not Shetel. Not Ketel. From Red Ketel. Harvest. Yeah. Thank you so huh. much for stopping by to see us. <laughs> this is so cool. It's a pleasure. Thank you. Well, most people, you, most of you don't know this, but Red Harvest has played here more than 1349 in Gorgoroth, and you're from Oslo as well. It's your ninth year doing this. Yes, it's true. I think we we were on the first edition, and then about on every album ever coming out since when was that 2001 or something maybe or it's yeah, pretty so cool though yeah, so we've been we've been around we also did this uk mm -hmm. thing and <laughs> yeah it was cool so we played a lot speaking of albums do you have anything new coming out yes we have material about eight songs mm -hmm. more or less ready we started before we took a long <laughs> break on this and then um yeah yeah we 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 picked it up again and then we also have to do things but um we are not as fast as we used to be because <laughs> we are li we are living so far apart and things need to be like sorted out in a bit more planned but um yeah eight songs are in progress or more or less finished so just need to get everything <laughs> together now and then do it well that's and then good. i guess we will make some at least uh, we want to do some vinyl and, yeah, of course, iTunes and these things, just mm -hmm. the CD, and do some playing because now it's fun again. So Yeah, it is that's fun. Okay. <laughs> that's okay. And there are not that many great shows and great bands, so you guys are pretty good. It's, um, <laughs> you know, <laughs> I like it. <laughs> <laughs> so speaking of the break, what was the breakup like? Yeah, no, the thing is that in Norway, when you come, your band comes to a certain point and you start to make some money, you need to make like a company. Yes. Which kind of sucks. Yeah. Because it's a lot of work having mm -hmm. a company. And then we had to pay accounting oh. and this and that and whatever. And in the end, we lost money. Mm -hmm. Also, of course, you pay your crew. That's first priority, and then whatever else, and then accounting, and then in the end you didn't make any money, and then album sales sales dropped mm -hmm. like crazy, and we, because of some of the guys' family situations, we were not able to tour because that's the only way you can make money at the time now. You need to play like crazy, and we couldn't do that. And then before we started killing each other and <laughs> hating each other totally, because. <laughs> I was waiting for that. It became <laughs> a fucking nightmare, you know, to, we had to play to pay accounting. Fuck taxes. Yeah. You pay taxes <laughs> on this shit? I have not paid taxes in so like five years. We That's we for just said, no, no, fuck yeah. this. We can't, we can't make this thing run mm -hmm. anymore. We just need to take a break before, because we were friends. It was no, mm -hmm. no bad blood between us and, yeah. Like straight outspoken, I guess this is a thing to say this, but I live in Switzerland now, so we oh. don't have a tax agreement with Norway, so That's <laughs> it's a lot for me. high five on that. <laughs> you hear that, everyone in Norway? Go ahead and do your stuff in Switzerland, yeah. and you don't have to pay taxes <laughs> here. Screw yeah, that. So well, that's good. At least you didn't like, I didn't like hearing <laughs> stories of people disagreed and all that. So at least it's a, it was a money thing. So advice to younger bands, don't be married, don't have a home life, so you'll save money that way, and don't pay your taxes. Yeah, you this is pretty good. <laughs> so in 2002, Six Friends at Gloria Mundi was nominated for a uh, Spielman, Spielman, which yeah, is a Grammy, um, Grammy award, like Grammy, yes, Norwegian thing, Grammy, yes. Yeah, yeah. And how was that? Did you guys actually win or you just get no, nominated? We, we never won. <laughs> I think we've been nominated three times or mm -hmm. something for different albums, but never won anything. But it was fun. But, you know, we are not uh, glamour boys, so it's a bit odd for us to go in this. <laughs> but you don't have to be glamorous <laughs> to win a Grammy. I mean, look at half the guys that win Grammys. They're not that cute. Fuck glamour boys. That's like yeah, pop but stars. Uh, no, it was n nice, but we were, yeah, we were not the most social guys ever i guess that's because you're in switzerland you're not in norway <laughs> so you can't socialize when you're already here no, that's true. <laughs> so fans actually wanted to know what red harvest was like like uh let's say some of our american fans or south american who've never listened to red harvest how would you describe the music it's thrash metal perhaps or we are that our strength i guess and also why it's hard for a lot of people to like us in <laughs> a way because we are a very odd mix of techno and thrash and doom, like neurosis and Berlin Tongs and maybe also yeah. like, so <laughs> we just do whatever we feel like basically. But um, yeah, 
uh, it's kind of hard. You cannot sing along to it. Okay. And uh, <laughs> you cannot whistle. <laughs> what could you songs. do? <laughs> 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 but uh, we don't have any O, O, O uh, choruses. But yeah, I mean, you have to give it a try and then maybe you find something you like. I don't know, I guess. Yeah, give it a try. And <laughs> and speaking of which, you guys, I think you were in the States in 1997, or you did a world tour with Pego Negative? <laughs> no, we didn't, we were, nev we were never playing in the U.S. actually, okay. but uh, we played some support shows for Typhus. And what was that like? Ah, it was amazing. That was, I guess, at the height of their car yeah. career, and it was just great, and... Yeah, we didn't actually see the guy so much, mm -hmm. but uh, they were very nice when we saw. Yeah, it was cool. Was a great yeah, guy. yeah, it was awesome. And what was it like working with Zykon? It was also good. You know, Thomas was also running the small label that Red Harvest was mm -hmm. on, the Nocturnal Edge production. So it was it was nice. We always had a good tone and got along. Also a bit private, but um, <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, I guess Jimmy was uh, actually singing on one of the tracks on mm -hmm. one, of one of the albums also. So, yeah, it's been good. Now, you started in the band in 1994. 94. 94. Yeah. So you were there after the whole Slayer tribute band. Originally, S Red Harvest started off as a Slayer tribute band, and they became their own entity after. Yeah, it was, was kind of pure thrash in the beginning. Yeah. Um, and then uh, become a bit more industrial, and then one guitarist left, and... Lars and Jimmy and I had another band called Dunkelheit at that time that was like really brutal industrial mm -hmm. ministry like but yeah. yeah. And then we already knew each other quite well, so it was I was an obvious step in for the guy who left and then after that we just been hanging out. So nothing's wrong with that. Yeah. So what did fans expect on the new album? Because you said you're not as fast as you used to be, so No, uh, it's a bit more technical. Okay. We become better. We become <laughs> more intelligent, very nerdy yeah. now with technical music. <laughs> We're yeah, better so. at counting. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Not your yeah, tax no, but it's but uh, yeah. it's uh, it's quite hard. It's quite brutal, but also a bit more complex than before. A bit more complicated music in a way when it comes to changes of uh, you know, yeah, how it's going and everything. But it's uh, I. I, I, in the beginning, now when we started playing again and doing some shows, I, I hadn't listened to the things we did before, mm -hmm. before we took the break. And I was like, mm, this is <laughs> actually quite nice. Okay. <laughs> this, Still be this, with new this is going to work. And then we just need to fix a few things. And then, yeah. So I'm quite optimistic. It's really cool, actually. I'm super happy with it. It's going to kick ass. Do you have any labels you're speaking to? No, not at the moment. We <laughs> we have some people asking us okay, quite good. often, but we haven't decided anything. The only thing we want to do is we want vinyl. That's vinyl. the only thing. Yeah, we want to make uh, like a double vinyl of some kind. Uh, we did a reissue, no, a twenty-year-old album called Hybrid, mm -hmm. and uh, that was by a guy in France, small label called. Named after one of our albums okay. called Dark Matter, um, which is going quite well. We are very happy with his work, but he doesn't have a big distribution thing. So we might like do something for him for France mm -hmm. and then talk with some other persons that cool. we are already talking a little bit to uh, for the rest. So let's see what we can do. Yeah, and vinyl's great. I mean, everyone has vinyl now. Yeah, I mean, I don't think I... <laughs> <laughs> touched the CD in yeah, <laughs> four or you. five years Final, it's really myself. Cool, yeah. So do you have any messages for your fans? Yeah, I, you can always make some messages, but yeah, we're, we are totally working on things. Be patient, because things are not going <laughs> crazy <laughs> fast all the time, but um, I have I have more time now because I uh, also play in another band and I'm done recording that and we are not touring until November. So I'm going to push. I'm personally going to take care of some Red Harvest music now and make sure we have something for you during 2017. Yeah, you better. You better get the fire under your yeah, butt for no that. Yeah, no, really. I, I've just been a bit busy, but now I'm done recording this other stuff, so I'm good. <laughs> um, which bands are you looking forward to see play at Inferno this year? I hope I get to see someone actually. Yeah. Um, 
because I was supposed to go home mm -hmm. to where I live on Friday, whereas I think I'm going to fly to Tokyo because I didn't know the running order when I ordered my flights. Mm -hmm. So I'll see if I can do that. That's uh, basically cool. <laughs> the band I'm really looking forward to see. I hope I can prove it. Now, what's your official website if people want to buy their stuff? We just have Facebook. So oh. it's Red Harvest Official. <sighs> We need to do that also. We have a yeah. lot of things to catch up with, uh, but one thing at a time. Everyone's using Facebook now, so if you want to buy their stuff <laughs> and look them up <laughs> and check out the new stuff. Oh yeah. Okay, yeah. we have redharvest.com. Okay, thank you, <laughs> thank you. <laughs> it's outdated, but it's redharvest.com or facebook.com <laughs> forward slash redharvestofficial. Yeah, something like that. So <laughs> don't forget, don't pay your taxes. And if you ever <laughs> want to be successful in a band, do not have like a family and some kind of normal life or whatever it is. <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> Okay, thanks for watching. <laughs> <laughs> it's chill, right? It's nice.